Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite girl, Nia Shebe Mundi. And welcome to this episode. And uh, I hope you guys have already subscribed to this channel. If you're part of our family. And if you already send the comments, likes, and share this, the previous videos. In today's video, I have one best friend with me. And uh, from the previous video, I can see you people like uh, some epi the episode that you are having some conversation with friends you have to learn from them so guys let's know our visitor today okay uh, my name is collins uh, i'm a friend as i just told you i'm here to speak about uh, uh, relationships uh, uh, men and women so uh, i hope you enjoy the show yeah sure guys today we're talking about relationship and as you heard Mr. Collins today will be taking us through this and I'm curious to know what do men look uh, when they want a woman, when they're after a woman. Mr. Collins will be explaining what they look at, the qualities and uh, let's see how things go out. So okay Mr. Collins, what qualities do you look at when you so um, when we are looking at uh, women as men, we want a woman who is um, uh, uh, focused and uh, who knows what she wants. Right? In life, um, we are looking for a laid back uh, uh, woman uh, in the sense that... Uh, what do you mean by laid back? Uh, laid back, uh, intelligent, silent, not quick to react, uh, uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, we're looking for um, mature women uh, in that sense. So, do you mean there's the opposite version of the laid back women? Uh, uh, yeah, there's the open version of the laid back women. Uh, in that you, you have uh, women who are uh, insensible. Okay. Uh, uh, we have some who are uh, tempered, high tempered. We have uh, ladies who don't listen to their men or their husbands. Okay. Yeah, those kinds of ladies, uh, they're opposite to the laid back ones. Wow, that's nice. Is like something. And uh, if I may ask, if this type of ladies were so hyper, they are they like going out, are they still laid back ladies? Um, I wouldn't say they are laid back in that sense. Uh, personally, I think they are. Um, you can't be, uh, you know, I'm a traditional uh, um, um, uh, type of guy. So you can't be laid back and at the same time you are hyperactive, going out every day. To me, I believe that is not uh, the, the actual sense of a laid back uh, uh, woman. So I would say I prefer the laid back ones. Uh, the ones who listen, intelligent, they can challenge you on uh, issues. Yeah, so. Yeah. And uh, if I may ask, in this modern generation that we are now, yeah. we find that uh, most ladies are more empowered, yeah. more educated, yes. uh, more, let's say, in a way, even more exposed than men. Yes. So, are these still the ideal women who are laid back? Or by, since you mentioned something to do with tradition and laid back, and now we have the women who are so empowered. Yeah. So, how do you distinguish who is who? You, it's better when they are empowered. Right? But, uh, being empowered doesn't mean that you 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 do not listen or uh, you, you go against uh, um, what your partner has to say, right? Okay. So I think um, in my heart of heart, I think uh, the exposure is even uh, more important. Um, this way you, you, you'll be able to understand her even more. Uh, you should be uh, uh, more exposed, you be uh, more clever. So I think in that sense, um, uh, the exposure is very important. This, this doesn't mean, uh, don't, don't confuse it with, um, with uh, 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 going out and stuff you know, and being rebellious. Okay. Uh, it is important uh, uh, because uh, she gets uh, uh, you know, she gets more experience and uh, uh, yeah, it can help her in future in, in, in life. Wow. So, personally, if I may ask you, would you prefer a lady who is more educated and more exposed than you? 
Yes. Or who got maybe a well paying job? Then, yes. No? Yes. Because um, this way she can she can ch challenge you in many uh, in many instances. Uh, for example, um, uh, you can do something and uh, she she rect rectifies you in a way that um, uh, is beneficial to you at the at the end. So I think yeah, it's important. Uh, uh, I, I won't mind meeting uh, uh, a lady who is uh, uh, more exposed, more educated than me, because I know uh, it will be uh, a challenge for me. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. And um, are these learned or empowered ladies submissive? Do they submissive enough to be husbands? Yeah, the learned ones. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's this uh, thing about, uh, especially us. Africans, uh, African ladies, yeah. Uh, when uh, when a lady is more uh, empowered, or educated than their husbands, uh, uh, she feel uh, uh, obliged to, you know, like I would say, step on on, on their husbands, right? So it, it becomes a a headache. You, know? uh, you don't have a peaceful uh, relationship. So I would say. Uh, that has to change. Okay. They're supposed to uh, be supportive to their husbands. Positive criticism, okay? Yeah. Uh, even if uh, 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 your husband uh, does something, don't you know, bash him on that. Uh, you know, don't, don't act um, smarter than him. Uh, just rectify him positively yeah? in a respectful manner. Yeah. So, and um, if I may ask, uh, Personally, you said you want the laid back type. Yes, I would prefer the laid back type. So that that's this scenario, you might might a, you might meet a lady. Yeah. Maybe you got attracted in a way, yes. and most ladies are like pretenders. They will not show you the true character. The true character within the time you are getting to know her. So, as for you, how long do you need to know the lady if she is the ideal lady? Okay, how, how long am I supposed to? Yeah, okay. to, 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 do it, to know if this is the ideal. Okay. She's laid back, she, she got the character qualities that I want. Okay, I would say one month. I would say six months to uh, uh, one year, sorry. Yeah? Okay. So uh, during this period of time, it depends also on uh, uh, how much time you spend together, um, how often you go out, how often you do you meet, how, how, how often do you take her out, and stuff like that. Um, so, but uh, uh, on the normal case, uh, let's say you meet every day, uh, like you meet uh, every day, you go out uh, on a regular basis. I would say six months to one year. So, is that knowing each other, or you'll be dating in the same process? Okay, you'll, be, you'll be dating in the process. Uh, this one, uh, uh, this is how you get to know her better. Um, you will uh, be able to know. Um, uh, not 100 percent but you'll be able to know the, uh, the, the important aspects uh, of her or of her character um, yeah so i think uh, one year max is enough. is enough so by that the one year if you know she's the ideal one yeah. you're ready now to settle for you yes uh, exactly okay. so what if within the six months yeah. you know some ladies they'll try to, to pretend yes they know exactly what you want so in the six months, they will be showing all the characteristics of the ideal lady. But the moment she gets into the house, now her true character starts to come out. Would you advise somebody maybe like to quit the marriage? Maybe that time you're already in marriage. Would you advise somebody to keep up? Okay, my point, main point is, can you change someone's character when you're already in marriage? When she she, was, a, she okay. was an ideal uh, girl. We have something called uh, uh, some stuff called uh, red flags. Right? Okay, yeah, exactly. So um, you know you can do mistakes. Everyone does mistakes. Yeah. So in this case, uh, a lady, um, you're supposed to, to observe the red flags. Okay. Right? So if they happen uh, uh, more often than not um, uh, during this uh, six uh, months or to one year period, uh, that should be a red flag. Okay. That should um, should uh, you should take action on that in the sense that you should uh, uh, you can stop the relationship. You understand that? Yeah? So I would say 
um, observe the red flags. Everyone does mistakes, but what kind of mistakes uh, uh, is she doing in this uh, in this case? Yeah. So, what are some? Can you give me like three red flags that somebody can? Okay. Can see? I'd say according to personal experience, yeah, okay. I would say um, phone calls. She can get, uh, like, you know, when you are dating someone, you get, you, you speak to them often. Yeah? Yeah, sure. For example, you can get more, more phone calls, right? So maybe you, you're together spending time and uh, she goes out to, to receive, the receive call. Uh, a call and she stays here for a couple of minutes. Yeah. And if it, it happens, to the parents. Uh, like, yeah, you can know, but uh, it happens often. Okay. You know, if, if it's the parent, she, she doesn't have to go out there. Yeah, sure. She, have, so, she can talk for what have you with Yeah, doing. yeah. So uh, that's my point. So you're supposed to observe such things, right? And uh, attention. Mm-hmm. Now she's giving you enough attention. You're supposed to 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 understand that and uh, to to observe that as well. Um, number three, I would say uh, time. Mm-hmm. She's supposed to give you a, a, a time, uh, as possible. Yeah. So, uh, really three points. Sorry. In the mi- okay, can I bring a point from uh, the phones? Yeah. Uh, the moment she receives this call, and maybe walks away from you. Maybe she got other people or other businesses yeah. she don't want to talk to. Yeah. So by by putting it as a red flag. Will I have to, can I judge you like being an insecure person? Because why should you judge when she goes to receive the phone calls? I'm not really, you know, if it's, uh, you, you can know a suspicious call, like, for example. Um, you, you, you know, she, yeah, like you can see uh, who is calling her, yeah. how often are they calling her. So, for me, I think it's easy to know um, uh, if there's a red flag. Okay, just, you, you have to just be, uh, you have to be vigilant enough to see it because uh, women are so uh, you no know, dirty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Wow. So about time. Yeah. Uh, can you discuss? Can you tell us something about those who are in long distance relationships? It's difficult. So, uh, uh, it's so hard because you know being away from someone who you love is. Uh, it can be a challenge. It can lead to temptations. It can lead to uh, uh, cheating. So you have to be really strong. You have to be to have a strong mind. You have to be uh, mentally strong. Uh, and uh, yeah, basically discipline. discipline as well. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And uh, avoid um, situations that will uh, uh, make you uh, fall into these uh, temptations. Yeah, yeah sure. But do you believe long distance relationship will work? Yes, I do. Because I have been in love okay. and it works. So. Okay, uh, I, uh, calendry. Sorry, I said calendry. Okay. Um, are you dating? Yes. Okay. Uh, what character do you, you told us about the types of boys? Yeah. So, is, are you sure? You got the ideal or you followed the link back, you got the link back partner. Um, Why did you choose the first partner? Is it because she's, she got the other qualities you yeah. got? Uh, it's a t- difficult one to answer, but uh, I think um, my current uh, girlfriend is somewhere in between, I would say. Right? Oh, and because maybe you're still weighing, you're still in the one six month one year. Yes, I'm still, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guys, but. don't, don't get too much into that, okay? Okay. Um, so anything you'd want to tell us more about the show? Uh, I would say um, you need to be observant uh, during that period of time and you need to, after that, if you de- you've decided to to, to proceed with the relationship, you need to be um, you need to be resilient. You need to be strong. You need to be um, tolerant. You need to love her as much as you can. You need to love him as much as you can. And also, you know, life has a lot of uh, challenges, up and downs. 
So it's not going to be easy, but you need to to be strong and prepared uh, for that. Wow, uh, guys, Mr. Collins, you can hear how intelligent he is with tips about relationship. He will be the one dealing with it. And um, to the lady, she's getting the girl you love to the best. And guys, don't forget to subscribe. Buy with such story books. Comment, like, share, and see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Thank you.